Hello friends, welcome to another GIMP tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create passport size pictures in GIMP. Um, as you can see, I have got an image here and this picture I actually have collected randomly from online, from Pixel for this tutorial purpose. Um, and I thought this kind of picture would be ideal so that I can teach you how you can use random or uh, any ordinary picture for uh, creating passport size pictures in GIMP. So let's get started. As you can see, this picture obviously has been taken for different purpose, but we are going to make it passport size. To do that, first we have to check a few things. First of all, we need to check uh, whether this picture is straight. So to do that, we use the measurement tool. Um, if you don't see it here, you can find it in the menu. And then you're going to straighten this image if there is any any error. So to do that, we just check the shoulder here. Uh, it's not straight. So we are going to straighten it. You just um, adjust the angles and then click on straighten. So that's going to crop the image so now it is relatively okay and then go to image crop to content right so we are also gonna check one more time just to be sure Yeah, so far it looks okay. Go to the image menu, crop to the content. Now, we need to crop it to passport size uh, picture. To do that, we go to the crop tool here. And here, under the aspect ratio, we have to put our desired dimension. So I'm here putting the standard dimension 3545 but you can adjust this according to where you live in the requirement. Um, and then we crop the image. When you are happy with this adjustment, just hit enter. And then go to the image menu and crop the content. Well, there is still some issues on the side here, but I just wanted to show you the process so that you can adjust accordingly as you as you want. But anyways, we got the possible size pictures that we needed. Now, let's say you want to print uh, multiple possible size pictures in one, one page and how you do it. Well, to do that, we create a new page and you can go with any any dimension that you want or you can put any customized dimension but I'm going with a4 hit ok now to do that I'm copying these pictures paste it as new layer now I'm going to resize this because it's a little too large I'm gonna make it to 400 so now i'm going to duplicate this image um 11 more time as i already have one one copy here um to fill up this page so to do that you can go here um to this little duplicate icon and then uh, keep clicking as many as you want Two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I already have one, so twelve to fill up this page. Now um, I'm going to the move tool first to just randomly split them. Right. Got 12 images here. Now I'm going to the alignment tool. Um, if you don't see it here, 
just press command and Q to activate the alignment tool right so now make sure that um, the alignment is related to active layer and then let's select the first four and then we make sure then the center and then make make sure that we are in the bottom layer and then we select again here we have four more and this one need to be also in the center but on the left and these four need to be also in the center and then right now let's select these four and then click here distribute target over evenly in the particle and here we have four in the middle and the four on the right right so now we have got the images um, distributed um, in the whole page you can make more copies if you want um, to fill up the whole page as you need so friends i hope this tutorial will help you thanks for watching i will see you next time goodbye